The first time I met Barack was uh, at our law firm. Uh, I was a first year associate. He was funny. He was very self-deprecating. He had this amazing background and story. Barack had always talked about the fact that he went to law school not to cash out, but to try to make change. And he thought that the education he would acquire would give him the tools to come back and be able to do more. He had told me that he was a community organizer, and I didn't quite know what community organizing was. I'd never met anybody who was a community organizer, and, and in the world of corporate America that I was in, I certainly didn't find many young people who were that engaged in the community. But he invited me to go uh, with him to a training that he was doing on the far south side in a small church. So we walk in and he takes off his suit jacket and he loosens his tie, rolls up his sleeves and launches into what I think is the most, was the most eloquent discussion about the world as it is and the world as it should be and how the work of community organizing is there to try to make the two less separate. And he connected with every single person in that room. There were a lot of amens going on. So I thought, this, this guy is pretty special. I am the, the youngest of two children, and we grew up in, in, in modest conditions. My father was a, a city worker. My mom was a stay-at-home uh, mother. Barack was raised in a teeny little apartment in Honolulu. I grew up in a teeny little apartment on the south side of Chicago. Uh, and what, you know, drives Barack are, are these shared values, which I, I call, you know, just, just sort of good old Midwestern values. We believe in hard work. We believe that you, you know, speak what's on your mind. Your word is your bond. Uh, you treat people with respect and dignity. Our girls, uh, Malia and Sasha, are the, the light of our lives. Um, you know, they keep us grounded and whole because they're, they're kids. They're eight and five, and they care about getting a dog and what they've done today and how their lives are interesting and full. And what we are reminded of every day when we see them is that every child should be able to enjoy what they enjoy, that freedom of just having so much opportunity. And too many children in our country don't have that. And it's not enough that our girls do. So it's very difficult to sort of live this cozy, contented life knowing that you possibly had a chance to do more for more people. And that's what we hope we can do. We hope that by being involved in this race, by being engaged in this campaign, we can bring a, a new hope to people who've been uh, ignored for a long time.